everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright. Hope you're having a super Sunday. A lot going on, a lot to cover here. Find out what the head hiring research of Indeed thinks it will take to get the job market back on track. What's it gonna be? While well, we got, you know, uh, governors uh, in fights in court to overturn the stop of unemployment insurance. We've got all kinds of things going on. Just we'll find out a lot tomorrow. We're waiting for that verdict. Learn how businesses can help improve the job market by improving their hiring process because this is just unbelievable what we're seeing here. And hear what analysts think the claims that the unemployment benefits are slowing down the job market recovery. The real deal on that. So stay tuned. Here's your unemployment update for Sunday, July 11, 2021. My goal always is to give you access to government and private money for yourself, loved ones, and your business. So stay tuned to the channel for personal finance videos, unemployment, stimulus, PPP, loans to help you out, SBA guidance, how to get approved for an SBA type loan, stock market, crypto, and investments from somebody who started 32 companies in 17 industries. I don't say that to brag, but only to impress upon you that whatever I know is all yours for being on the channel. So hopefully help you generate income and save lots of money. Right now I'm giving away $1,900 in cash to the audience, to the squad, to the group here. All you gotta do, subscribe, like, and comment. We're gonna pick a random comment. We're gonna launch out $1,900 in cash to one somebody in the audience. I hope it is you. I'm, I'm like, I'm, it's gonna be you. It's, it's gonna be you, I know it. So make sure you put a comment in there. Also, grab your stocks down below, two for free, valued up to 1800 bucks with Weeble. Crazy, limited time offer, no joke, it's real folks. Just make sure you, you do that if you haven't done it. It's free money, it's literally free money. Like, how does that happen? I guess it happens at Chase too. You can like open an account and get 500 bucks or whatever, it's pretty crazy. Also, thanks to my Patreon supporters for as little as $3, they get, you know, uh, a look under the hood of my investments as well as five articles a week, all specially crafted for you. And my $99 real estate program, a master's in real estate, a $10,000 course, really. Um, I spent $45 million learning all the mistakes and trusted other people. Well, with this program, hopefully you'll have to trust less people and you could just trust yourself because there's a video on it. The time value of money, discounting cash flows, how to figure out what something is worth, the three different approaches to figure out the value of something, how to figure out the real NOI and how banks look at it and where to get cheap money. I, it's all in here. 36 videos for $99. The price you're paying is criminal. It is, it's literally, when you go through it and check it out, the first couple of videos are free too, so make sure you just at least check it out. But first, Nick Bunker. Oh, use the code BOOM so you don't pay full price. But first, Nick Bunker, uh, Director of Research at Indeed Hiring Lab, believes that America's job market will get back to where it should be sometime around the summer of 2023. This is when they're planning on raising interest rates too, right? How coincidental. 2023, that's two years from today. In an interview, Bunky asked numerous questions on state of the job market and what his team is seeing in the research. Now, indeed, if you don't know about it, that's a great place to put your resume, look for jobs, because you know they, they're in the back end seeing what's coming through. So they get an incredible amount of data on our lives and our hiring procedures and what we do. When asked about more than 40% of Americans who say they have had enough save to hold off applying for a job, Bunker said, quote, some job seekers seem to be able to be more patient with their job research. Those other sources of income mean they don't feel the need to jump right into the job market. He also continued, a whole host of things will have to happen. Direct from workers to very strong, strongly right now. You know, demand for workers is super strong, but well, in need to see if it stays strong for quite some time. I mean, the jury's out. We'll have to see what happens. Will it stay strong? Will there be a strong demand for workers? Or at some point, are workers gonna go out there to look for jobs and the jobs are gonna be taken? But he says one of the biggest requirements to get Americans back to work is their pay. Bunker explains, quote, the trend in wage growth suggests that many firms are finding increase in pay not only possible, but necessary, end quote. So I guess as I owe President Biden an apology, quote, pay them more, end quote, is good advice. Reality is um, that the, the 
tax credit that I covered yesterday about retaining your employees, $7,000 a quarter for March of 2020 all the way through the end of this year. If you take your PPP money, EIDL money, and also your tax credits, and you use that to create the pay environment that's gonna get people back to work, you can take care of your customers, pay your people a little bit more, and, and do it on the government's dime. $7,000 on that employee tax retention credit. I'm telling businesses, literally, I feel like I gotta go door to door to tell people about it, and then use this money to help bring in people and get them paid more. You know what I'm saying? Just use the whole, the, it's the whole deal. Not just one thing, it's not just the price, but it's the whole deal. If you can get government help, get it. That'll help you bring people in. It will be interesting to see though, Bunker ends up being right about you know, the need for lower unemployment. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But if he's correct, if Biden's correct, I guess we'll just see. Meanwhile, a recent report shows that Americans are fed up with looking for a job. This comes after a software engineer shares his experience of going through a horrible hiring process. The post was on LinkedIn. It went viral with many users feeling the exact same way. They felt what he felt. More and more people are reporting bad hiring experience and most common complaints being excessive interviews, tests, and psychometric exams and the lack of communication. There's actually a documentary on these type of you know, character identification programs, which has a huge bias. In fact, it, I mean, the documentary, it, it ends kind of sadly, but is so true. The report plummeted a recruiter from LinkedIn to put together a list of hiring practices that can help make the process better for everyone. Some of the top recommendations for people that are out there are offering training to interview, uh, interviewers, hiring dedicated interviewers, and a compensation for interviewees time if the hiring process goes too long. If you're gonna have people interview 11 times before you actually get a job, are we serious? They aren't, they aren't any numbers showing how bad the hiring process keeps people from looking for jobs, but there's no way it helps when you're interviewing somebody 11 different times. Hopefully employers can use the tips and make some interview go a little bit smoother dedicated team, help people out, give them the training they need to help them. A lot of people are rusty right now. They're gonna need to dust off some of the cobwebs and get back to, you know, like, oh yeah, this is what we do. Who knows? It could help the job market. Finally, the Morgan Stanley economists look at the numbers of the jobs across the 50 states and came to a conclusion that the unemployment benefits are having little impact on Americans getting back to work. This is so like, divisive right now, right? I hear entrepreneurs blaming it on that, but they're probably not doing their best to try and hire people at the same time. And the same thing with workers, they're getting a disconnect from entrepreneurs and employers. The analysts found that the difference in unemployment numbers between states that had ended benefits early and states that are still providing benefits was only 4%. And that 4% was before the accounting for differences in the state's demographics. 4% is nothing unless they're talking about the battery percentage on your phone. In, in that case, it's a crisis. When I get to 4%, it's horrific. So researchers went on to suggest though that the reasons for the slow recovery saying, quote, it appears that gener generous unemployment benefits are likely no more of a factor than other in impediment, including childcare, transportation, and health concerns to workplace re-entry, end quote. Remember a lot of parents, there are two of them and their displacement in work can definitely have a problem where somebody's got to cover the other person, especially if they don't have day daycare and they're not both fully employed. Whenever the reason might be, I just hope that Americans can find, um, find work and get back on track, get back on their feet and be able to, because at some point these benefits are gonna go away. If you still haven't applied for your unemployment assistance, get a head start. You know, it is the end of the weekend, but apply today. Start, check out your website. This will get you ahead of the week. It's either the PUA or the UI. They're two different websites. Show them your employment history or your identification document, depending on what you have. Fill out the application as genuinely and obviously as possible to the best of your ability. By being honest and truthful, you can answer a few questions and potentially get a check backdated 
for as much as twenty, twenty-two thousand dollars if you missed out on all that money. And if you're a gig worker, so many people don't realize that if you're an independent contractor, 1099 or self-employed, you got a side hustle. The PUA was set up especially for you. It's amazing government relief benefits that are designed to get you through this tough time, right? So we've literally got 16, what, months of pain for a lot of people. So please keep sharing your experience with the PUA and unemployment benefit in your state. Please stay safe out there. When you share, you care because everybody else is getting a chance to hear what you're having to say so they don't feel so alone and know that they're not all by themselves. Plus, you enter to win 1900 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Andrew Cartwright, and uh, take care, because I love you.